what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to walk you through stable cascade this new model that is in research preview that has been announced by stability now the last few days have been wild in ai especially with the announcement of sora which is the text to video model by OpenAI, and it was so big that we hardly got the time to talk about these other things but this model is really interesting and really fascinating and has produced some amazing results in my test so let's dive into this and talk about what is stable cascade now, one of the first thing that I want everyone to understand what stability has told us is that this is a model which is in research preview now. But it's based on the worst gen architecture. Now, worst gen essentially means hot dog in English. Why? I, I don't know. But that's what they have come out and told that that's the name of the architecture. And it's currently available in like non-commercial license and they don't allow for non-commercial use right now. So that's something you should be aware of. Now, at the end of the day, what makes this architecture really awesome is that it enables Stable Cascade to essentially make training easier and inferencing faster. So you can actually use consumer hardware with like about 20 gigs of VRAM and you can actually train these models and actually have some really good image generation when you are doing, um, you know, image generation, training, fine tuning, all those things. So this is one of the biggest benefit of this architecture. Now, these are some images that have been produced, but I produce some more results through a UI that was available by somebody on Hugging Face that produced some amazing images too and was really comparable to actually Mid Journey version 6. But before we get into those comparisons, let me kind of walk you through some technical details here that I've come to understand. Now, if you see this, what they have kind of shared is that the architecture essentially has these three stages where you have the first stage, which is VAE, that is the Variation Auto Encoder, which is available in Stable Diffusion. But here the advantage is there are three stages stage a stage b state c now what makes this architecture different obviously is this latent generator phase which is state c that transforms the user input into a compact 24 by 24 latent image you know so you get the most amount of information in a really really small size now when stability had released stable diffusion you could compress it by a factor of eight but with this model you can compress it by a factor of 16 which is what makes this really awesome now if you want to understand this a little bit more, you can go to the GitHub and on the GitHub, they have kind of walked this through an explanation where they have said the smaller the latent space, the faster you can run inferences, the cheaper the training, you know, become. And Stable Diffusion used a compression factor of 8, which is what I was telling you. So a 1024 into 1024 image, like that was the size, could be brought down and encoded to a 128 by 128 image. But with Stable Cascade, they can bring it down by a factor of actually 42. It's not even 16. I, I stand corrected there. And you can bring it down to an image of 24 by 24 pixel, which is really fascinating. And this allows for the most amount of information to be captured in a really, really small space. And then that makes, you know, training as well as inferring really really fast and that's really good now one of the other things that they did here was actually compared it with some other models that are available so so let's look at the comparison of stable cascade with other models that stability has now what they did was they tested it across prompt alignment and aesthetic and pretty much in every version that they have available you can see that stable cascade is really showing promising results in at least prompt alignment and same thing with you know aesthetic quality now one of the things that i also noticed with the images that i generated with stable cascade is that the prompt coherence which we are really saying that mid journey v6 is good at i was seeing the same kind of results in you know stable cascade that means prompt coherence is actually really good so it's aligned really well and the results look pretty pretty good actually all right, so further what they've shared is inference speed comparisons, and this is the chart that they kind of put together. But if you read this, what they've said is that stable cascade focuses on efficiency because of the architecture and higher compressed latent space, despite the large model being 1.4 billion parameters and more, uh, which is bigger than the stable diffusion Excel, it's still faster when it comes to inference, which is really exciting. And there are some other things that this model can do. For example, there are additional features that it can actually generate like variations of the same image it can actually like here are some examples like there's a multiple variations of the same image in a different way 
you can also do like in painting and out painting you know where you can take an image and kind of in paint it uh, and the output image looks really cool and carry edge which is also a really cool feature where you can take edges of an existing image and then turn that into a different type of output so these are really exciting and but one of the other things is that it also provides like 2x resolution so here you can see that they took a zoomed in version and then they expanded that to like a 2048 by 204 output so that's really cool and can also be achieved because of this latent generated uh, stage C that they have so overall this is a really really promising model and i couldn't be more excited about what i've seen so far all right to get started you can actually go to you know stability ai's github repo for stable cascade download it and start playing around with it but the other thing you can do is also download it from hugging face you know it's available on hugging face now the other thing that I'm really excited for is like somebody actually put it out there in the community for us to try. Like that's really awesome. So what we can do is actually go here if you want to play around with it, actually use this link that is provided by Multimodal Art for Stable Cascade and you can actually use it. So I'm going to put that in the description of this video. But here you can see that, you know, I've said an astronaut riding a green horse and as you run it, you, you see this image. This looks really good, right? Now, what we're going to do is actually play around with some ideas. So let's just... Uh, Put this prompt and say woman with field blue sky natural light on face right let's just run that and let's look at this image but while that's happening let's also put this image and you can see all of this come together wow i mean it's i i know where this is going i'm really excited for how this image is going to look eventually look at that i mean let's go let's make it this a little bit more bigger so we can see a uh, proper quality oh look at that that's actually a great image. So what we'll do is we'll start to try to compare this with what Midjourney V6 does. So uh, let's go back and I'm going to put the same prompt in Midjourney V6. I'm going to make sure that I have V6 selected. Everything else is same. I'm not changing any other parameters. Not I don't want to give it any extra, you know, um, push. But let's just see what the result looks like. So we'll see how this result kind of comes back and looks like. All right. So these are the images that have been produced in Midjourney. And look at that. That looks good. Uh, but I like the stable one more. Again, this is a little bit more aesthetically natural. It seems like the camera that has been chosen is pretty interesting. So this image is fantastic. I mean, what has been produced. I like these images too. But they have, they come with this their own style, right? Very cinematic, very raw image. Um, both are good. But again, stability uh, or stable cascade is showing some really good signs here. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to take another prompt and put it here in mid journey because it takes longer for it to produce for some reason right now so let's just ask for this particular image and basically what i'm saying here is pretty much the same thing i'm going to say here uh, produce an image of a young man with long silver hair with white shirt tucked in black jeans and with that we'd also say okay put him near the window and put silhouette lighting you know a bunch of other things so let's see how that process is this is processing here and also i said i wanted to have some sort of an oil painting right so let's see let's see how this looks again at the end of the day you know this the results should be like quality look at that wow okay it's coming together obviously you can see that so that's exactly what the prompt was you know uh, obviously we don't see the blue jeans <laughs> we don't see it but we do see like a white shirt tucked uh, you know silver hair man uh, sort of like an oil painting okay let's see what mid journey kind of looks like all right so this is okay so this is basically it took the oil painting aesthetic in and that kind of brought it in so that is exactly what we had asked for so overall i think mid journey did a great job here at least bringing things together in a way it's got the jeans it's got the window oil painting long silver hair dude uh, great so this is awesome i mean Honestly, even this is not bad, but again, um, for some reason, mid journey is just way better, right? So that was good. Okay, let's do the same thing. Um, all right, so another prompt that we're gonna put is, let's look for how it does with logos for a company that has refurbishable, you know, vintage bicycles. So let's do that. And let's do the same thing over here and let's see what it produces. All right, so overall, I mean, I mean, okay, that's that logos came out really fast. That's actually not bad. That's pretty cool. It's actually got the right prompt and the vector. The colors look great. I like that. All right, this is starting up too. All right, while that is pulling up, we're gonna like put another complex prompt and get it ready. It's coming together on mid journey. Huh. Okay. 
I mean, the last two are like something. These did they, they do appear as vector art, but I do not know if I'll use that as a logo, or I'm not sure if it's like logo ready. But again, overall, this one I will give vector art with logo, illustrated logo, everything. It looked great with you know stable cascade so i'm i'm preferring that over so let's just do this one and this one's a pretty big prompt actually here what i'm saying is hey give me a green alpaca wearing a you know green t-shirt wearing black jeans wearing green baseball cap standing in green grassland holding a guitar playing a song uh, you know looking pleased so this is like a really really complex prompt and i let's see how this works i know that i have generated this image or have seen this in my journey and it produced like something really awesome um and look at that wow this is is that a green alpaca or is that a llama i don't know but look at that i mean it actually kind of did what we were asking it looks like a pretty cool image of him playing uh you know guitar uh the hands look pretty weird but again i mean it was fast i mean that's probably because of the, of the gpu that is processing this prompt but look at that um at the end of the day, I mean, these models are becoming so good right now. Like uh, green alpaca, look at that. So that's like art. Okay, that looks pretty cool too. It might be an alpaca. So I honestly still like this image mode that was generated in Stable uh, Cascade. I mean, if you if you if you feel like these ones are better, hit me up. You know, and why do you feel so? So again, it's an artistic choice. But overall, I think this looks really really promising. All right, so let's just do uh one more or maybe two more okay i'm gonna put this in and here's where I'm, I'm just saying hey generate a movie poster of an adventure traveling the world you know uh and you know the movie should be called dubai to the world symphony of flow uh and we're gonna do the same thing over here and it's basically should look like a cinematic poster and that's what i'm kind of going for so let's see and again the key thing here for us to know is that you know i haven't really um added any like aspect ratio changes obviously when you put aspect ratio sometimes things change but look at this that looks really good actually that looks like a movie poster obviously the text didn't come out uh, properly obviously we haven't put it like for it to come in a certain way but it this looks like sand and it has a sense of dubai with like big buildings the moon it looks pretty cool actually it's like a movie poster um and let's see what comes out with the uh, v6 and that looks pretty cool as well. Some interesting information has come together, like desert and palm trees and the person. Interesting. That's good too. All right. So what I'm kind of feeling so far is that when it came to prompt coherence, obviously it's brought things together in a certain way, you know, but it did not meet exactly what I was going for. Like if you see this, this in one shot gives me an experience of a movie poster, right? It has that cinematic point of view. But uh, these images, though, they look great. Um, I'm I'm still kind of questioning it, you know? But again, Mid Journey V6 is good and has produced some amazing images for me. But when I'm just doing live comparison, I mean, I like this more. I mean, that's just how I'm feeling. Anyways, let's take vector art and let's put that here. I want to generate vector art logo, dragon, uh, and let's do this okay with lines okay let's just generate that image here and see what my journey produces all right so it's coming together and let's see look at that that is a pretty dope poster i mean look at that wow stable cascade you are really good i didn't expect you to be this good but again i mean fantastic all right let's see how uh this looks in my journey and I'm I'm pretty sure Mid Journey is going to come out with some really cool designs as well. But I mean, this is like vector art, right? I mean, this the detail on that looks so good. The face of the dragon, the horns. Wow. Okay. That's line art. That looks pretty cool, actually. That looks great, too. Wow. I mean, look at that one. Wow. The details on these things are really cool. But for some reason, you know, like when I saw the stable cascade result, it looks so, you know, polished for some reason. Like, it looks really cool. Uh, this one also looks great, actually. I mean, all of these designs are pretty cool. But for some reason, uh, you know, I feel like the details are a little 
if you here and there like for example if you see these details here there's some alphabets it looks pretty cool obviously that's what mid journey produces this one looks great too but at the end of the day these are artistic choices that we are going to make at the end of the day what i'm feeling like is that stable cascade is definitely looking like a really good model probably as good as mid journey v6 and right now it's in research preview so as it continues i i just feel like it's going to get more better better right so overall i mean this is where open source uh, technology is looking right now we can all you know start using this model ourselves you know download it right on our own gpus train it to specific images if you want to but at the end of the day stable cascade is looking really really promising so with that you know i think we have seen enough it's been a long video obviously i appreciate you taking the time to watch through everything well hopefully you have enjoyed this video about stable cascade obviously there is a lot of things going on let me know what you think about it in the comment section and like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what i do on this channel and until i see you again stay true stay consistent